Happy Hanukkah! Day six! Welcome to Hanukkah with Kimi Hami, day six. And today we will celebrate a light. And one of those lights are God allowing Jesus to shed his light and with, through teaching to his disciples. So that is the story for tonight. Sarah? Yes, so we're gonna re we, re we remember that on the first day. I know that a lot of you might be watching this over and over again, but it's important to review. We learned that God's light brings order to chaos. The second day, Adam and Eve, the first humans, received light. They received instruction, and they chose to walk away from it and go in their own ways, and it brought a curse on all of humankind, that first Adam, that first human. Then it was passed down to Moses. Sometimes we do Abraham next. This year we decided to go right down to Moses. God gave Moses the Torah, the Holy Scriptures, the first five books of the Bible, and taught him these are instructions on how to live a holy life. Because there was a people living in Egypt. Mommy, mommy, Come on over here. Mommy, mommy. Mommy. Yes. Mommy, and this was mommy. King David. He meditated on God's law day and night. And as a result, it says he was a man after God's own heart. So we find that a life lived following God's commands and pursuing holiness results in intimacy. Then we switch to Jesus. Yesterday was Jesus. He literally was the light of the world. We heard in John 8, 12, that's how he announced himself. I am the light of the world, and those who follow me are found in the light, which means we have clarity in our life. When we put our trust in the Son of God, we invite light into our heart, into our mind, and we're able to overcome obstacles that we would not have been able to see otherwise. And so today we're celebrating the disciples, that first group of believers that were surrounding Yeshua, the Messiah, were all Jewish. I think sometimes maybe in our Gentile thinking, if you're not Jewish yourself, you think that, oh, it was me, it was a Gentile. But it wasn't, right? It was, it was first the early Jew, the early Jewish followers of Yeshua, of Jesus, were the ones that brought that message. And so we're going to read from Matthew 5.14, my handsome cup of hot chocolate. He's got it uh, underlined and ready. Matthew chapter 5, starting verse 14. You are the light of the world. The city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good what? works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So we thank Jesus for teaching that to those disciples, <coughs> so that later we, at least me, as a Gentile, could come in and be a part of the fold. And so Daddy's going to light the serving candle. Daddy, eat. Let's start over here. Yeah. These should be a lot easier. We switched candles. Pick it up. Do you need help, Sayla? Hand over hand. No, but that was this one. It's okay, Sayla. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong circle. Bottom, bottom, and then hold it sideways. Hold on. Why did the okay, start. Sayla, we're going to go here first. Okay, okay. Okay, then the third one, Moses. Yep, I'll help you put it. Get over here. Yes, okay, grab it at the very bottom. This is so easy Pinch it, now. pinch it at the bottom. Okay, and now we hold it sideways. Oh, I got it, Mommy. I got I'm going to help you. Now. Let there be light. The light was given to Adam and Eve. Then it was given to Moses on the mountaintop, Mount oh, Sinai. Then it was yeah. given to King Sinai. David, meditating on a day and night. And then to Yeshua, the Son of God, the light of the world. And then to the disciples, Good who are commanded Esther. to be a light upon. Yeah. 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 Stop doing that. Do so got, oops, don't, don't blow Selah, please. Good job. There we go. So let's say, let's repeat what Daddy read. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. I am a city set upon a hill. I'm a city I'm set upon a hill. hill. And I will not hide my light. And I will not hide my light. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So Amen. our encouragement to you guys today is to shine bright for the kingdom of God. If you are found in Messiah, if you are found in the Son of God, may you shine Maya. light brightly. Maybe like a city upon a hill that does not hide or shy away from the light, but that you're ready for a gentle answer for those that might seek to ask questions. Have an amazing, amazing day of Hanukkah, and good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.